Hi Aries, Happy New Year, and this is your January 2020 love and relationship reading. Okay, so the first message card that I have for you, Aries, is Betrayal and Broken. You also have Mask and Hiding. You have Interference and External Influences. And you have Pain, Hurt, and Sadness. Okay, um, whew, well, I'm feeling like some of you are dealing with some very heavy energy of needing to either walk away from a situation. No, there's no either. There's like, you're ready to walk away from something, but I feel like whatever you're going through, it hurts so bad. You're confused about the situation but you know that someone may have you in a third party because of the betrayal, the broken mask and hiding. So whoever you're dealing with, it's like they're hiding something from you. It's like they're one way when they're around you or when they talk to you. And then when they're not around you, they're doing something totally different that concerns another person because we have interference, external influences. But I feel like this person knows that they're hurting you because we have the pain the hurt and the sadness here i feel like somebody knows that you're upset they know you they know you're sad but i was hearing messages from spirit aries that this person is not going to do anything until you do something okay so it's like your reaction to this situation causes oh wait i said that wrong your action to this situation causes a reaction from them okay so Whatever action that you plan on taking when it comes to this situation, it's going to cause this person to react, okay? So they can either react in one or two ways. If you walk away and leave this partner, Aries, I feel like somebody's going to chase you because they're going to finally realize that you're serious. I apologize if I'm sniffing. Um, my allergies and my sinuses are bothering me really bad. Like the weather is horrible. It's like one minute it's warm and then the next minute it's cold. So I apologize if you guys hear me sniffing a lot. Um, yeah, like they're going to react to your actions. See, I feel like for some of you, not for all, right because this is a general reading so take what resonates and what doesn't leave behind i feel like some of you have not actually showed this person that they're going to be without you i feel like this person is not afraid to lose you because they haven't actually seen you walk away and mean it so like for instance you could tell this person like you know what we're done i'm not dealing with you no more but if they don't see any um if they don't see any what word am i looking for if they don't see you doing it basically then they're th they they're calling a bluff they think it's that you're bluffing and they know that they're hurting you they know that you're pissed off i feel like you've talked to this person already about this third party Okay, so for some of you, you have, and then for others, you may not have. Um, you may still be investigating something that you feel like is a third party or some type of um, side involvement. But I feel like somebody knows you're hurting. They know you're sad. And I, to be honest with you, I feel like this person cares about you. And I know that sounds weird because of the four cards that are sitting in front of you, Aries. But I feel like this person cares about you but it's like they're they don't want to do what you're asking them to do it's like they don't want to commit they don't want to settle down they don't want to be with one person it's like somebody doesn't want to get rid of someone it's like they want to have their cake and eat it too and they feel like if they get rid of this other person that they're missing something but i think what's going to happen here is they're going to wind up screwing themselves because you're going to get fed up and tired if not already and walk away from this person all right, so let's see what's on the second row here. Okay, so we have inner child. Yep, transformation, letting go. Some of y'all are not playing with somebody this um, month, Aries, or this year. <laughs> Since the year just started, some of y'all are so not playing. It's like, I feel like for some of you, you've been thinking about this for so long. 
because this person is immature whoever you're dealing with they could be younger than you or they just could be really immature with their emotions when it comes to love and how to treat someone in a relationship they could have issues from childhood like they weren't ever loved or they wasn't ever in a good relationship so all they know is toxicity and you know being with people that don't mean them any good and then here you come being this person that wants to commit with them and take things to a higher level and I feel like somebody's just not where you need them to be it's like they don't match you but we have signs and wonder and then we also have change of heart and turn around. So I feel like for some of you, Aries, um, this person is going to come around when it's too late. It's like they're going to see the signs of you walking away, but ignore it. You see how this person's back is turned? And it's like they're not paying attention. And it's something that they're missing by not looking and paying attention. And I feel like when you're ready to walk away, they're going to have a change of heart and they're going to try to do everything they can to keep you around. And it's like, it's going to be too late because you have letting go here. You have transformation. You're tired. You're fed up. You've been through a lot with this person. See, you have these butterflies here, which indicates freedom. It's like some of you want to be free from something. And it's like this person is not physically holding you abound, but they're mentally holding you abound. Okay? There's some type of codependency that you could be dealing with with this person. And you know, everybody goes through codependencies when they're in a relationship. You get with a partner and you depend on them. It's either to make you happy, it's either financially, um, whatever it is. You know, you look for this person to provide that for you. And I'm feeling like when it's no longer provided, you're still searching and you're still hanging on, hoping that it returns. So some of you could be in a codependent relationship, not wanting to, wanting to free yourself because we do have the butterflies here, okay? And that means letting go, transformation, evolving. Okay, let's get into your reading and let's see what else the universe has to say about this relationship that you're in, Aries. And I'll just put these over here in case I need to refer back to them. All right. So you do have the page of wands, fire sign, Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Some of you could be dealing with the younger fire sign, or this could just be your energy. But um, some you may be hearing from someone. I feel like somebody's going to come through in the nick of time, or you may be feeling like this person has forgotten all about you, or they're not paying you any attention. But I feel like for some of you, somebody feel you slipping away. Okay, they feel you slipping away. And if this is not you, Aries, this could be your partner if they're cross-watching. But somebody is going to come in with some communication trying to save the relationship or the marriage, whichever it is for you. All right, so you have the Magician. You have the Five of Pentacles. And you have the Two of Cups in reverse. Some of you are not seeing eye to eye with your partner but you love them so much it's sad it's really sad because i don't want oh i hate to see the magician and the five of pentacles together with the two of cups reverse and the reason why is because you're trying to manifest something with someone who's leaving you out in the cold but i feel like it could be a soulmate relationship or it just could be that at one point in time you guys were really close and this person changed and you don't understand you don't know where it came from but i'm feeling like it came from an interference because now i can't pick the card up because you have interference and external influences so someone could have gotten in your partner's ear or they could have came back from the past or reached out to them i'm hearing social media somebody could have reconnected with your partner or you could have reconnected with someone but you have the magician here, so you're trying to manifest the situation. Some of you could be dealing with the Gemini. We also have um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn here in Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But regardless of the sign, Aries, this person is pissing me off, and I don't even know who the hell they are. <laughs> like, I don't even know who this person is, but it's making me mad because I feel like this person cares about you 
but you want them to show you that they care enough to commit and leave everyone else alone and that's what they're not doing and you're trying to manifest something with them and they leaving you out in the cold but with the five of pentacles what i always notice is that this person is on crutches right so it looks like their leg is like I don't know, broken or something. Um, they are on crutches. Their head is bandaged up. But you're fine. You're out here walking in this storm. You're a weathering this storm with this person. I feel like whoever this is that you're dealing with, you have weathered the storm with this person for years. Okay? For some of you, more than six years. You've been there for them when things were bad, when things were good, you know, when no one else had their back, when they needed money, you could have bought this. I'm hearing somebody bought somebody a car or somebody co-signed for a car or apartment or something. It's like you were there for them. Whenever they fell, you were there to pick them up. So it's like you're walking alongside of them in this in the snow out in the storm, but you don't have to because you're fine. You're good. It's like you have everything you need. And I feel like that may piss you off the most because you're like, you know, I was there for you. Where were you at? I mean, where are you at now that I need you? But I was there for you when you needed me. All right, let's move on. So we have the strength card here. So some of you could be dealing with a Leo and you feel like the situation is not working out. Okay, or um, if you're not dealing with a Leo, you just like you don't have the strength to put up with this anymore. Like you're so stressed. I'm like some of you are really stressed out. But let me just say something, Aries. If you feel like you're that that stressed out, um, then maybe it is time for you to walk away from this situation. Okay. You also have the Two of Swords here, and yeah, you see, you have the Nine of Wands. Some of you are dealing with other fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and then we have Swords here as well. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But like I said, regardless of the sign, if you're not dealing with those signs, it's, you're very confused. You're at a crossroads. You don't know. Like, I feel like some of you are afraid to leave. And it's for various reasons. Okay. There could be kids involved, or you just don't have the money right now, or you're just wanting things to work. It's like you don't want to give up on this person, but you feel like. You have to keep your guard up with this person because you don't trust. I feel like the trust is gone. Do you see all these wands behind this person? And they got a bandage around their head. Like, they've really been through some things with somebody. Okay? And I feel like all of those wands are strikes. And you've just been striking them out. Like, strike one, strike two, strike three. And then you're like, okay, strike three, you're out. And then it's like, okay, strike three, you thought they were out. But they may have came back and tried to keep you in the relationship or keep you in the marriage and promise you something that they couldn't deliver. And then all of these wands is things that you've been through with this person. And you're still hanging on to this one wand, hoping that things change. Not feeling that they will. Not very confident, but hoping that they do. But still having your guard up. And I feel like some of you, it make you sad that you have to have your guard up with this person. Because you really love them and you want to be vulnerable and you want to be open and just show this person but you feel like if you do they're going to take advantage i feel like this person is just i feel like some of you are dealing with someone who's just not appreciative like they don't appreciate the love that you have to offer and the type of person that you are but i'm telling you aries you can get that you don't gotta let this person treat you like that this uh, listen it is a lid out there for every pot that's some shit my grandma used to say some old school stuff <laughs> I used to hate when she say that, but it's true. There's a lid out there for every pot. So if you with a person and you're not supposed to be with them, or they're not treating you right, and you think you're supposed to be with them, but they're not giving you what you need, then maybe it's time to walk away from this person. And I know it hurts. It's not easy. Like I don't like when people be like, "Oh, just walk away and leave them." It's not that easy. Okay, we all have been in that situation before, and if it was that easy. Then I mean everybody will be walking away and nobody will be hurt, right? All right, so you have the three of wands here. You have the nine of swords, and you have the justice card in reverse. Yeah, so you're worried. Some of you are worried about a relationship. This reading is making me sad. It is making me angry at the same time because I just hate for people to do people wrong, especially good people. Like if you're good to somebody and you got their back. 
and you're always, you know, riding with them and ride or die and, you know, like, uh, what type of person would just screw somebody over? If you don't want to be with someone, then just leave. Don't just keep running in and out of their life. I feel like some of you, <coughs> excuse me, some of you are waiting for someone to return. You're waiting for this person to return patiently. Now, whenever you get the three of wands, just know that you're not waiting in vain. So if you're waiting for someone to return to you or to reach out to you because you did have the page of wands as a jumping card, I feel like this person is going to reach out to you. But the thing about it, Aries, is that are they going to offer you what you want? Are they going to give you what you need this time around? And I feel like that's what worries you with the nine of swords here. Okay, because this is worry, fear, and anxiety, and you're feeling like you're just so fed up with this person and just feeling the way you do. And um, I feel like some of you are worried about who they're with. You know, um, are they thinking about you? Will things ever get right between the two of you? And you have the Justice card in reverse. So some of you could be dealing with the Libra. We also have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. Like you don't feel that you're getting any justice in this situation you don't feel like things are fair and i always tell people when they get this justice card and you don't feel like things are fair especially when you get the justice card in reverse with the nine of swords listen it's not fair there's no i don't think it's fair it's not and that's when you need to step back and look at the situation with a fresh set of eyes and realize you can do better and you deserve better okay and i feel like you know sometime when you do that people start to wake up i feel like some of y'all need to wake somebody up somebody need a wake up call because they're they're stressing you out and they're not treating you fair and i just feel like as soon as you you know put your foot down then here they come wanting to do right but maybe too late all right so we have the five of cups Yes, we have the five of wands. Some of you are tired of fighting with someone. And we have the hard fence. Some of you are tired of fighting with someone to commit. Okay. We have two fives here, which is a ten. So it could have been an ending for some of you. And then we have the higher fit in reverse. Some of you could be dealing with the Taurus. But if not, someone does not respect the traditional rules and regulations of a relationship. Okay, um, with this five of wands, they could be dealing with multiple people, or this could just be you and them fighting back and forth, hopefully not physically, but just, you know, going back and forth with each other because what you need something that you're not getting. And I feel like this person don't understand that, or either they do understand it and they just want to have their cake and eat it too, because they can't leave someone alone. But some of you, I'm hearing somebody can't walk away from their baby mom. I don't know where that just came from. Okay or their child's father like somebody can't but it just came in my head like somebody can't walk away from their baby mom and they may have been promising you that they would or telling you that they did knowing that they didn't with the five of cups here this person has done some things to you in the past aries and you you just cannot get over it but just know that there are two full cups standing in the upright with the promise and content of love to come towards you whether it's this person or whether it's someone else but there is love out there for you and that's the way you have to see it but so you have your back turned so you're not even focused on it i feel like you're focused on this other person with these three of cups this person that's not putting in the energy the effort and the time somebody's not putting in any energy like i feel like you're dealing with somebody lazy as hell when it comes to their emotions some of you could be dealing with water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Um, I mean, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. And this person may see you as combative with this five of wands, but I feel like you're combative because you're tired of talking to this person. And, and you know what? When you have to keep telling somebody how to treat you, Aries, it's time to go. Because that's what I'm seeing here. Some of you keep fighting with someone to treat you right or to do right and it's like you shouldn't have to fight with this person to treat you good this should be automatic and if not automatic they should at least put in the effort yeah some of you are wanting to walk away or have walked away with this eight of cups and you're in search 
of the Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment. You're like, let me go find these other two cups because I cannot stick around for this. And yeah, the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Maybe we could be dealing with Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We also have Pisces here. We have the Moon card. I feel like this person is very secretive. Whoever you're dealing with, they just keep a lot of secrets. Like you ask them questions, they don't answer it. And stuff like that pissed me off. Like, oh my God, do not let me ask, ask you a question and you act like you didn't hear me or you can't answer me. No, mm-mm. <laughs> Because then I will shut it down. And I'm feeling like that's how some of you get. Some of you get like really irate or you you may start yelling or like screaming or crying. And this person try to treat you like you're crazy. But you're like, no, I'm not crazy. Like I'm asking you a question. I know you're being secretive. Answer my goddamn question. <laughs> like I'm telling you this reading like, oh my goodness. Okay. But something is one-sided here. Something is one-sided with the six of pentacles and they know it they know that they're not putting in the work but i swear i feel like as soon as you walk away then somebody is going to miss you and maybe that's what they need aries yep maybe that's what they need the knight of cups here they come fully armored though i don't know why this knight of cups is fully armored like this maybe they've been through some things or maybe they're afraid to offer you love because they know they can't offer you exactly what you want Maybe they know what you require and you require too much because they're immature because you did get the inner child card. But I feel like, um, yeah, see, you went to Ten of Pentacles. You went to Ten of Pentacles with somebody. And I feel like this person either promises you this or they're going to come in and promise you this, but then they're going to sneak off again. For some of you, I feel like this person promises you that they're going to do the right thing and offer you the ten of pentacles or either they do it for a little bit and then it it just it all goes to hell again because they sneak off to someone yes we have the queen of swords but you're not playing with them this time around you're cutting something yep you're cutting something toxic out your life aries you're tired you're fed up you have the queen of swords here when she pops up into the reading i love the queen of swords because i am an air sign and when she pops up into the reading it's like people heads are getting cut off people are getting cut out of your life you are cutting people down the sides like however you want to get it when this sword is up and raised it's like okay enough is enough enough of the toxic bullshit okay enough of the you lying to me enough of you chasing other people and not paying attention to your relationship because when the devil comes up some of you could be dealing with the capricorn but if not when the devil comes into play there's a lot of toxic energy okay um i feel addictions sexual addictions is what i'm getting here somebody could be stuck to someone because they like the sex or they just could be, I feel like some of you try to move away from this person, like you really do, and then you wind up going back to them. Or you feel like you can't be without them. Because you see these two people are chained together. And look, they don't even look happy. They don't look happy at all. There's a ball of fire right here. I feel like there's always, this could be your energy too, Aries, but um, since you're a fire sign, it doesn't have to be though. But it's like, you guys may always argue, but you still feel like you're, you're linked to one another. We have the four swords though. Someone is thinking, some of you got somebody thinking out there though, that they need to get rid of a third party situation. Whoever this is, four swords, Aries, Leo, I'm um, Aries, Leo, sorry. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. But we have the judgment. Then I say as soon as you make a judgment call, somebody gonna come in and try to work on this. Because <laughs> we got the lovers here. But see, let, let me just say something, Aries. There is a lot of space in between the two of you. Okay? Wait, I don't want to jump the gun. We have the judgment card here, right? This is just when you thought something was over and there was nothing else to become of this situation. You throw your hands up. You say you're done with this person. You're done with this toxic relationship. You know, you're done with, with the crying and um, waiting for this person to call you, text you, whatever, right? As soon as you say you're done with all of this, there's a rebirth and there's a resurrection with the judgment card. Major arcana, okay? Somebody comes in, could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, doesn't have to be. 
and the three of pentacles is here they want to work on things with you but look at his face like he's confused you know these cards are not gender based so it could be male or female but this person is confused and they're looking like okay you know i know i say i'm going to work on this but i don't really know like what i need to do you know you know what you need to do somebody know they need to drop a third party okay three of pentacles here in order to make this work with you i feel like for some of you there's a lot of work that needs to be done here okay there is a lot of things that has happened between the two of you look at all that smoke and there's a mountain here to climb or get over but the angel is like listen what are y'all going to do either y'all gonna get this right or y'all gonna leave each other alone okay that's what i'm seeing here for your reading i feel like you're just gonna get tired of someone promising you that they're gonna work on this relationship because we have the eight of pentacles here we also have the ten of cups in reverse and we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. So I feel like somebody is going to come in, promise you that they're going to work on this. And they know what you want. They know you want the Ten of Cups. They know you want a family. And I feel like there's going to be stagnation. So keep that in mind. Like, I feel like, you know, when you try to walk away from someone, they may not let you leave. We have the Ace of Cups. They may promise you a new beginning. Or either you guys are going to have to work hard on this Ten of Cups. Because you've been through so much there's there's so much that has happened i feel like there was a lot that was said there was a lot that has happened their hurt feelings um their egos people egos are bruised and a lot has gone on here and there's a lot of work that needs to be done because there's eight pentacles here this person has only gotten to the second pentacle <laughs> they got that other one just sitting there by the table like they ain't even started working on that one yet. They may have worked on this one, but they, they got a lot. Whoever this has got a lot of work to do, they know they have a lot of work to put in when it comes to fixing the relationship or the marriage Aries. Okay? But I feel like right when you want to walk away, somebody is going to come and try to fix things or try to hang in there with you or, you know, after everything they've put you through especially with that ace of cups in reverse because the ace of cups in reverse is a new beginning okay whether it's in the upright or whether it's reverse it still um connotation the connotates as a new beginning the only difference is is when it's in the reverse the new beginning is delayed okay so there could be some delays around you getting a new beginning with someone promising you that they're going to work on the relationship so those are the messages that I have for your love and relationship reading, Aries. I just want to say thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you to everyone who ordered a private reading. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cards Never Lie Tarot. I'm also on Instant Go, so if you have a question, you can reach out to me there. And I will see you guys next month. Bye.